work that I get involved with is generally more on the geotechnical geohazard side. Uh, that includes things like steep slopes and landslides, uh, but there's lots of other types of geotechnical uh, geohazards as well. Uh, different issues with sinkholes, maybe from karst. We also look at settlement. There are other uh, issues re related to earthquake loading, um, different lateral spreading, um, things that cause the soil to liquefy and, and might result in buoyancy or sinking of a pipeline. My focus is primarily on mitigating steep slopes and landslides. That's where the majority of, of my work is done. That includes during construction, recognizing that water is very often a trigger for instability, identifying where there are issues with water at the surface as well as in the subsurface, if there is seepage um, of water coming in from bedrock below. So identifying those locations. And then one of the areas that I've had quite a lot of involvement over the last four or five years has been with geomechanical stabilization. So this is things like soil nail and mesh, um, sort of geostructural stabilization measures where there's a number of steel nail elements that are closely spaced and drilled into the ground and they hold a mesh layer. But ultimately it's providing reinforcement to the slope um, tying back into stable material um, deeper into the ground and, and allowing uh, a slope to stay stable at a, a higher slope inclination. And that's a mitigation measure that it's more costly. It's one of sometimes of last resort, uh, but it's a, a great tool to have and, and sometimes it's necessary. Mm -hmm.